Good morning Eindhoven! So I was here a few weeks ago for graffiti festival Step in the Arena and on that festival I spoke with someone and later on he contacted me and asked me if I wanted to help with a little mural. So I was like sure can I film? And that was not a problem so that's what I'm gonna do today. The budget is just a little bit it's enough to buy paint and and there's yeah i'm not making any money out of it so shooting these videos is how i make a little bit of money at, at the moment so i was like yeah why not if i can sleep on your couch then then it's okay lately i've been sleeping on quite some couches not the most comfortable comfortable thing, thing to do but I uh, brought my letter because we're gonna need it. And in this bag, there's some food and my paint jacket. Gonna use it later on to take the paint with me. Morning. So this is where the magic is gonna happen. Well, there's only one downside. They cut the grass and it's all over the wall even up to here so we have to broom the wall well it's definitely a big wall so it's gonna be a two or maybe even three days work to completely fill it up perfect exactly to the top of the wall nice So apparently before they started painting this wall, there used to be like an anti-graffiti layer on it. Uh, yeah, it clearly has. So they just brought us a little broom and it's a good thing they did so because look at the amount of paint that's coming off the wall. Good kawaii. So maybe we shouldn't put too much work into this because this wall is getting repainted like every half a year. This whole area is constantly changing and uh, this is one half and there's another half. Too much dirt and grass on the wall is never nice but it's getting repainted pretty soon I think. So I'm gonna kick off the wall with the sketch. This is some quick sketch. I still like to have some room for impro improvisation. This was just a leftover to sketch. So what is it that we're gonna do? These are black and white pictures of the wall. In the bottom, there will be a metro or train. On top he's gonna paint a skull and around that we're gonna do like a sunset. Maybe some more mountains, just like I sketched on the right of the wall. <laughs> and in the meanwhile, our spray paint got delivered. You won't hear me complain about this. Best service in the world. So that's about 50 cans. These ridges in here are gonna be a pain in the ass. So you might think, what are those? Those are mountains. I'm making these mountains blue because the train or the metro is gonna be gray. Yeah, normally mountains are grey, I know, but otherwise it would be too much grey. So 
So yeah, the sketch is on the wall and this is what we've painted so far, but I have to go. I have to go somewhere else this evening. I had to be in the south of the Netherlands anyway, so uh, I'm gonna get the car, throw everything in the trunk and then uh, I'm out of here. So after picking up the stuff, I'll be driving to Heerle. There is Breaking Convention, which is a hip hop event with a lot of dancing, break dancing. I believe some experimental dancing as well. Uh, yeah, they asked me to display my pictures. So that's where I'm heading tonight. I'm not sure how much I can show from that event, but I'll see you guys over there. Alright, so I just parked my car on the parking lot and uh, this is one of the images that I'll be hanging on the on the event. So I'm gonna walk there right now, then I'm gonna hang everything, people can check it out and then the rest will happen. There will be like a DJ, there will be dancing, a lot of good stuff. So uh, yeah, this is one of the images and that's all what you guys gonna see for now. for real right now I'm gonna say a lot of words that are yeah well you better could not say them on YouTube but <laughs> this evening was so great normally I don't have anything with like dance but this was crazy I'm not sure if I had the greatest attention for my pictures <laughs> to be honest the audience yeah I guess they were not really interested in graffiti too much, but to the girls that asked me for the for this uh, breaking convention, thank you so much. I had a great evening. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm continuing painting on the wall. Yep. So today I feel like just emptying some cans, getting the whole wall filled up with our plan. And then we come back tomorrow for the outlines of everything. Niet tien keer die trap op en af. Oh, wow, eh, uh, Oh, dat is gek. Vanuit boven leek je echt mooi rond. Ja. That's it for today. This is how far we got and tomorrow we're gonna finish this wall. So today is the third day in a row and we were just standing here looking at the wall like where shall we start with today? So we still have to do the doors, the windows, the wheels of the, of the train or the metro, whatever you like to call it and all the outlines from the piece. We spent like eight or nine hours on this wall so far but yeah, we've been chilling a lot. A lot. <laughs>
I can't really remember if I told you what the idea about the wall is. So this city, they repainted almost all these tunnels. Yeah, this city is pretty smart. Why? Because they fill up these tunnels with art, with graffiti art. So they are using graffiti against graffiti. It's cheaper to pay an artist to paint a wall like this than always cleaning and buffing those walls. As I heard stories that those tunnels were normally always getting bombed and tagged, we were like, let's paint a big ass train on the wall. If someone would put something on this train, I wouldn't mind at all, so. Yep, when you start playing around with tags and throw-ups, you can't stop. That's what my friend just said. Graffiti with permission is nice, it's fun, but we just want to keep it raw.